Jojo the Wizard Brews Up Solids, Liquids, and Gases. Written by Eric Braun and illustrated by Robin Boyden. Jojo is a student at Miss Tickle's Academy of Magic. His favorite class is Spells for Bad Smells. Sometimes he doesn't do his homework, though, and he gets in trouble. Once, he made up a spell that doubled his name. He didn't learn how to change it back, so now he's Jojo. Jojo's least favorite class is regular old science. Today in that class, they were studying something called states of matter. Boring. So Jojo brewed a potion to turn his regular old science homework into chocolate bars. But he made a mistake, and the homework turned into chocolate syrup instead. What happened here, Jojo? asked his teacher, Miss Tickle. What were you trying to do? Me? Uh, nothing, said Jojo. Isn't this your homework? said Miss Tickle. You turned your homework into chocolate syrup? Jojo looked at the floor. I was trying to turn it into chocolate bars, he said. Miss Tickle smiled. It's a good thing we're studying states of matter, she said. You have a lot to learn. Matter is boring, Jojo said. Then he added, by the way, what is matter? Matter is what everything in the universe is made of, said Miss Tickle. From dirt to dump trucks, from animals to apple juice, even air is made of matter. Even air, asked Jojo. So what makes matter matter? Anything that has mass or weight is matter, answered Miss Tickle. You don't think of air as weighing anything, but it does. It just weighs very little compared to other things like chocolate syrup. Okay, but what about these states? asked Jojo. Right, said Miss Tickle. Matter comes in three states, solid, liquid, and gas. A chocolate bar would be solid. Chocolate syrup is a liquid. Get it? Jojo bit his lip thinking, not really. Miss Tickle said liquids like water, milk, and chocolate syrup flow. Like go with the flow, asked Joe. Sort of. To flow means to slide around and change shape. A liquid takes the same shape as its container. When you pour a glass of milk, the milk is the shape of the glass that holds it. This chocolate syrup doesn't have a container, said Jojo. Right, said Miss Tickle. That's why it's flowing onto the floor. Okay, I get it, said Jojo. There sure is a lot of this liquid. Even though liquids do not have a definite shape, they do have a definite volume, said Miss Tickle. Yes, I can hear it dripping, said Jojo. Not volume as in how loud it is said Miss Tickle. Volume means how much space it takes up. Chocolate syrup takes up as much space in a bottle as it does on the floor. It would look very different in a bottle, but it would have the same volume. What if I drank it all? asked Jojo. It would take up the same space, said Miss Tickle, but it would be space inside you. Well, Eating homework would be more fun than doing it, said Jojo. Wow, this liquid is getting everywhere, Jojo said. Can you change it? Shall I abracazap it into a solid? Miss Tickle asked. Chocolate bars? Oh, yes, please, said Jojo. Miss Tickle waved her wand at the liquid and said, Abracazap! The liquid began to gather into a solid shape, the shape of one big chocolate bar. Yum, said Jojo. He reached for the chocolate. Hold on, said Miss Tickle. Ah, said Joe. The chocolate looked good. How is the solid different from the liquid, asked Miss Tickle. It keeps its shape, Jojo said. Right. Do you think you could change that shape? Jojo's mouth was watering. You could break it up and eat it. Right again, Jojo. A solid holds a certain shape. 
its shape can be changed, but it takes some force. A chocolate bar is easy to break or eat. To change the shape of a rock, though, you'd need a lot more force. What about volume? asked Jojo. If you change the shape of a solid, does it keep the same volume like a liquid does? Yes, said Miss Tickle. There is only one state of matter that changes volume. That's gas. Miss Tickle waved her wand over the chocolate bar and said, Abracadizzle! The chocolate bar began to dissolve and float into the air. There, said Miss Tickle. Now we have chocolate gas. I've never heard of chocolate gas before, said Jojo. Me neither, said Miss Tickle. But look how it expands. That means it grows. It is changing shape and volume. Only a gas does that. It expands and constantly changes shape. What are some other gases? asked Jojo. Oxygen is a gas, said Miss Tickle. The air we breathe is a mixture of gases, including oxygen. Miss Tickle, lots of people can't do magic. How do they change matter from one state to another? asked Jojo. Good question, said Miss Tickle. You can change the state of matter by changing its temperature. Heat a solid to a high enough temperature, and it will turn into a liquid. If you keep raising the temperature, the liquid turns into a gas. The opposite happens when you lower the temperature. Oh, like water, Jojo said. Water is a liquid, but if you make water super cold, it turns to ice, which is a solid. And if you boil it, it turns to steam. Is steam a gas? Ms. Tickle nodded. But wait, Jojo said. Anything can change states? Sure, said Ms. Tickle. Most substances are in their natural state at room temperature. Water is a liquid. Bricks are solid. The temperature to change a substance from one state to another depends on the substance. Jojo said, I remember that ice turns to liquid at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees Celsius, but pumpkins turn to liquid at, well, a higher temperature. You're a fast learner, Jojo, said Ms. Tickle, and don't worry, I can make another copy of your homework. Oh, great, said Jojo sadly. And I can do something else for you too, said Miss Tickle. She waved her wand again and said, Abracadoodle. A small black cloud went poof above Jojo's head. What happened? he said. I changed your name. Now you're just Joe again. Thanks, said Joe. And then he started on his solid new homework.